Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight of the Rockstar Creates Done Track. Splits is one of my favorites. Partially because it is unique in being locked to compact cars, and partially because the layout is one of the better ones. All of the Rockstar tracks are a little bit trolly, but of the Rockstar tracks, this one is one of the less trolly. It's not designed specifically to make you scream, like, say Vespucci where they, they set the jumps up so that you're specifically going to fly over them and crash or dump yourself into the water. It's 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 not an aggressively anti-player track, okay? I usually use the Blista on this track. The Brioso is much faster per uh, Bruffy 1322, and I would agree with him that in most cases the car is faster, but every time I take it out on the track, it tries to spin out on me. This seems to happen to most people who drive the Brioso, and I usually win with a, a comfortable lead. Now, while I was doing some research for this video, I did see on, uh, on Pyrealm's channel, on you know, Rocket speaking to this particular issue, uh, he said that there's a specific problem with the Brioso when it comes to tubes. When it comes to stunt tracks, the Brioso has some kind of snap oversteer that just suddenly happens to it. And since I'm only ever driving it on a, on a stunt track, maybe, maybe that's what my problem is, or maybe I just can't drive a Brioso. I mean, that, it could very well be that. I mean, it's, this could be a skill level issue. Um, but for me, I find that if I jump in a Blista, I usually have at least a half lap on the rest of the field in Briosos because I simply can outpace them. Now, I'm not sure if these people are running stock Briosos or regular Briosos, but we can we can get to that discussion in a little bit here when we get to the, the, the lap times on the cars. The reason I'm doing this video, you know, this isn't just to tell you about my love affair with the Blista. We've already discussed that. The reason I'm doing this video in this comparison is you will notice that in the upper left-hand corner, we have the Blista Kanjo, which is just released. It's a brand new car. And it has a much higher top speed than any other compact car. So, my question is, which would be the better car? With the advent of the Blista Kanjo, which has a higher top speed than any other compact, I needed to find out if this car would be better than what I was using, which is a regular Blista. I thought, well, let's expand that. Let's really compare it to what all the other cars that people are going to be driving here. And, you know, let's compare it to the Briosos. And a few others later down the line here. Let's let's talk about this. Let's talk. Now the left side of the screen is the expensive side. All right, on the top we have the Kanjo, which is a couple million. On the bottom we have a Brioso, um, which is a little bit less, but still I think it's you know it's an expensive car. Both are fully upgraded. Uh, the right side of the screen is the cheap side. On the top we have a fully upgraded Blista, which you can grab off the street for nothing and then upgrade. And, and, and not even upgrade for a lot, if I recall. It's not too bad. And on the, the bottom, we have a stock Brioso, which is what you get if you don't own a compact car. This is what you're, the only one you can select in the selection screen. It is selected for you. You get the Briosos in stock mode. If you watch, you'll notice the fully upgraded Brioso has the edge for most of the race. But it does snap around on me a couple times. It took all of my concentration to give it this clean a lap. That is probably the best lap I have ever driven in a Brioso on this track. Usually I have something catastrophic happen. And because the Brioso had issues, the Kanjo pulled away and took the win. Not only did it have the best overall time, but it took the fastest lap as well. I'm not sure if they intended it this way, but Rockstar have created a situation very similar to the top two in the Supercars class. The Emirates is the fastest car, but it's touchy. It does tend to spin out if you overdrive it. Well, the Krieger is just a, just about as fast, but it's much easier to drive. It's much more stable. And if you want to extend that, the uh, the Kanjo has a much higher top speed than the Brioso. So this could be a case where the Kanjo might be your go-to car for stunt races, just as the Devastate or the X80 Proto before it used to be the stu the fastest stunt car. This could be your, your you know your stunt car magic source of goodness here. Going to the Kanjo, it's, this could be that could be exactly a good parallel to the Supercars class. 
So, I will be driving the Ballista Kanjo, but what if you don't want to put a couple million into a racing compact? Now, I recommend grabbing a regular Ballista from some poor AI and maxing it out. You'll be able to do fairly well, and against a field of Briosos spinning like tops, you could pull off a win. And, if they're stock Briosos, you're going to be probably pulling a better time even if they're not. I mean, even if they're only spinning a little bit. I mean, it's, Maybe, maybe that stock Briosa could overhaul you if you got a, a, a massive expert in in driving the Brioso. But he probably has a Brioso if he's if he's that good with the Brioso. If you're dealing with just the average person who doesn't drive this car usually, yeah, you're probably going to do pretty well with the Blista. You could bring a Rhapsody, especially if you're like me and love the Mirthmobile game aspects of the car. You'll be a little off pace. Not too badly off pace, you know, but if the field is all in stock Briosos and they're spinning out left and right, you could pull off a win. I have pulled off wins in the, in the Rhapsody. It's, I do like that car. I like it a lot. It's fun to drive. It looks cool. You can meme it up. Anytime you have a car that you can meme, that's worth bringing to the track. You might be tempted to use your Issy Classic. Since there are game modes designed for that car, you that you've probably already invested in that car. It's a compact. Why not bring that? It's got a little supercharger on the front. Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't this do well? Yeah, the problem is the classic is even more twitchy than the Brioso on this track, and it doesn't have the speed to, to keep up. It's just not fast enough to make up for those those twitches, and it, it might not be even fast enough even with a clean lap. It's the, the the classic is designed to be a twitchy tricky car specifically to be interesting in those game modes and that's what it's for so it's it's not your best option if you actually want to win a race against cars that are not designed to be cute um what's the word i'm looking for it's designed specifically to be tricky and it's just uh it's not the best racing car that you're going to have. I mean, it's just not. I, I'm not saying that Issy Classic has ever won on this track, but I'm guessing it would take very special circumstances. So there you have it, folks. If you have more skill than I do and can hustle a Brioso around a stunt track without spinning it, take the Brioso. If you want the most consistent chance to win the race and you're, you, you don't care about the money because you're not likely to make the money back with uh, the payout from stunt races, for as often as you're gonna run splits, but let's say you just care about the win count and you always want to be winning, bring the Ballista Kanjo. It will give you the most consistent chance to win. Wanna do this on the cheap? Your old tried and true Ballista will do fine. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.